Hello everyone, this is Svetlana and Bally Conrad with you, Bally Outlast. Before we begin, let's do our routine. Locate your belly button, put it in towards your lower back and let's just hold it. If you have a curve, that's how you know that you do it correctly in your lower back. When you put your belly button in, it will bring the hips under you and let's just hold those muscles. Those muscles, you know, you don't have to stand, turn out 180, you can do legs, whatever is comfortable. And let's just hold, see who, who, maybe I will win this time all the way. No, probably not. I will probably forget and will release my stomach. So anyway, um, today I would like to talk about a very interesting thing as an adult student that I noticed. Comparison. It's when you, when you go into the room and you start comparing yourself with another dancer or another adult. Ah. Guilty is charge of that for sure. You know, um, for example, I will give you I will give you a couple examples. Um, so when I went to when we were in New York, with especially uh, when well had the whole year of being in the room with Mr. Copeland, and um, well, let's put it this way. You want an honest respond? I'll give you. Well, <clears throat> from one side at the beginning, when when I started to look how she does things, and when Eric was teaching her placement and set her body from the beginning to to coordinate how she needs to know standing right and adjust things and doing ten do correctly and all that, it's and then timely end and just and all of those and all of those exercises, you know. And she was facing the bar. So when I look at her, when I was in the room, and when she would do something, it always felt to me like, well, because she she had a dense experience. See here, here let's let's do the differences between her and me, so you know exactly. She's five one, I'm five six. There's a height difference. She's a smaller frame. I am smaller frame for my size, for my height, but not compared to her. So I'm bigger than her, but by the weight. At that time, at that time when I was in New York, I was 130. She was probably 95 pounds. See, so it's a, the weight difference also. She's a professional dancer who's been dancing for 20 years. I am not a professional dancer who, uh, and I've only been training for three years before I met her, or two years actually, because one year off, so now it's number four. Um, <clears throat> and, um, so she has all of the, uh, let's just say her body was prepared already physically because she's, she has physical attributes to do it, meaning that she already is in dance, so her body is already conditioned for that kind of a work, you know, or not, it, it, it wasn't, it's not like it wasn't hard for her, but it was conditioned already. So she comes in already with knowing the steps, already going through them, being on the point, dancing, uh, you know, and knowing everything where I didn't know. So when you start to compare things and compare notes, it looks like, well, she's over there and I'm right here on the bottom. And there is a huge difference. And this is the problem when you, uh, an adult student or any kind of a student, when you start comparing yourself to another person and you thinking they are better than you. Well, here is the honest response if you want to know. Yes, I felt it this way when he was, when Eric would be teaching her and she would uh, get the information and she would perform it and she could actually, uh, over some time, she was able to reproduce what he wanted from her. And I felt like, oh shit, you know, she does better than I do. And I think that I will never, and I started to think that I will be never be able to do any of those steps and I was like like well I will never look like her I will never move like her I will never do and then as it kind of like made me a little bit depressed in a way because I'm like hmm huh. so what's the point for me to do it you know and here is a thing that I really realized later on and I realized or maybe because I was talking to Eric and he helped me a little bit to understand 
But if you consider that she had a 20 years experience and she still doesn't know at that moment, she didn't know how to stand correctly or how to do the plie correctly or how to even use her, her own body to help her out uh, to dance better. And that made me start to think, it's like, hmm, really, maybe there is something about getting the knowledge in ballet, you know. And um, yes, there were moments that I probably felt like I want to quit. I don't want to do ballet anymore. Um, mostly those kind of feelings happen when you see somebody, uh, let's just say, physically looking better than you um for the dance let's put it this way so it's aesthetic thing right so if you look at somebody who is more physically prepared for that you look wow they look awesome so and then you're like look at myself uh, maybe i shouldn't be standing here maybe i should just leave now you know so yes th those things for sure not helping adults you know, so you will be feeling it for sure. You know, you, you start to have all of the develop all of the complexes. And you, you, and if it's a woman to another woman, you definitely will start developing like, oh, you know, her legs are better than mine, her, you know, boobs better than mine or whatever, her overall look better than mine. It, it just, it begins for sure. Believe me, you, you will experience that, you know, even if it is your friend and you're doing friend, with friends, when you're watching them doing the class, you will have the exactly the same feelings when you internal. It's like, mm, she like, she does better than me do. You know, eh. And then it starts. But if you do that, and if you concentrate only on those feelings, believe me, that will be your failure in the class, for sure. Because then you will be thinking only they are better. That, so that leads for you not to be concentrating on what exactly you need to do. It's meaning to work on your precise technique. And that's it, when you're not concentrating how to do the placement, because you have to concentrate on that. And if you don't concentrate, and if you're distracted by how other person look, and, and you get, and then you're like, oh, I don't look that well, and it starts. So that's it. it. You for sure failed. Right there and there you failed. I felt it many times, believe me. You know, not only as a student, but also as a, when we were, for example, in Russia. You know, there are a lot of pretty ballerinas there. And when I w stepped into the room, I always felt like, ah, okay, can do this. You know, because, well, you know, they're running in the little things with little skirts and eh, all in good shape. And I'm like, ah, okay, I don't look that good. And it starts. And I felt like I don't even know what I'm doing here. And there's a competition be begins between girls. You know, we all girls, we know what we're doing exactly. You know, for sure, what I'm talking about. You know, so, and there's a competition begins. And I'm like, oh, can do this. <sighs> you know, but that is the thing. That's what I've noticed. It was the same thing with Mr. Copeland, for sure. You know, um... Like any woman, she always felt like, well, I'm looking better, you know. So, you know, it, it, it's normal competition between the girls, for sure, girls and women. But if we're talking about training as an adult, it actually does not help your training. If you concentrate on that, that somebody is better than you, you for sure guarantee you're going to fail in, in the ballet, in the placement, for sure. And it's funny about this to say that, you know, like I noticed that, uh, that when I try not to look at uh, any kind of a ballet, like in, in Instagrams or anything like that, I try not to. Uh, I mean, I, I, of course I do because some of you contacted me through that. But I decided that at some point, you know, looking at ballet videos and pictures of modern people now that's not going to help you to learn and be confident in in learning the precision of placement conrad placement because you have to be precise about it you have to concentrate on where to keep your muscles engaged and work on them because you have to understand that you will not look like them you don't want to look like them and this is what one thing i realize i don't really want to look like mr copeland no i don't I mean, I can't really, but I don't want to look like her. You know, I don't want to have 
how she has the hypermobility. I don't want her back problems. I have my own problems. Why, why don't why I should probably consider my own? I don't want to move like her. I want to look like me, you know. So here is where I learned one thing. You have to develop a little bit of a me monster. It's like I want specifically what I want, you know, right? Right? I want to like look to so represent me, my individuality, and how I do things. You know, I cannot, I cannot concentrate on other people and look at them and say like, oh, I want to look like them, or they're doing something better than me, because then it makes me feel concentrated on them more versus on my own problem what I have and this is the, the thing that I for sure I noticed need to be especially when we're talking about ballet needs to be really really be uh, paid attention by the teachers especially not to let their students to get carried away and you know be in this kind of a mood that somebody is better than them no nobody is nobody is you know um, the other thing is just you know I noticed that people when we do the when people came visit us, you know, there is another thing. Like some people ask, you know, that I will do the class with them. And there is a reason why I refuse to do the class. And that is the reason because you cannot move the same way like I do. For the same reason that I just explained, you can't start to compare yourself to me, you know. The the only I mean, but I understand why that thing's happening because for now I'm you know I'm the only model for the individuals, so that's why people will for sure try to be compare try to compare their pro their technique with with my technique for sure. I understand that, but it's just uh, it's not gonna help you that much. What what you can only do is just to look. Just because all of us, as Eric explained, have the same similar problems. You know? So when he gives the information, you have to just see where, where it, it happens. So you, then you can see physically on the person. But try to aim to the, be, be exactly like moving like me. You, it's not, you know, not all of you can do, you know, because some of you maybe do better than I do. You see, have you considered that? You know, so, but there was a request many times when people see us that they would like to do the class with me. No, you, <laughs> I'm not going to do class with you guys. Not at this point, not at this level, you know, because the point is for you to gain the information from Eric when you, when you meet him, not being discouraged that I do better than you do or not. You see, it, it, it's not about that, you know, so... I am really, really, really aware of it. I don't know, maybe I'm rambling too much and you might not understand this, what I'm trying, what I'm actually trying to refer. But it's a very, very fine line between watching somebody on the video and then see them in person doing it. You want, because my, my thing is just, I notice you want to um, boost the confidence in the students or people who receive the information, not to take them away. And I think that's what, that's some main reason why I don't ever show anything when we in person, I'm not showing anything, I'm, you know. Maybe when I will be teaching, but then again, we know if, if I'm teaching, then I will be teaching you. I'm not gonna show how, I mean, there is a reason why. So you don't want to pick up my habits. You want to develop your own habits. So there is a lot of things why to consider certain things. and. And it comes in a certain perspective. And that's why, you know, maybe people misunderstand why we're doing certain things and certain things don't do. But that's why I guess we're trying to do the podcast where you can actually, you know, uh, maybe if you're interested to listen to our perspective on that, why we're doing this. And maybe it will be helpful. So anyway, uh, I think it's... That's it for tonight and uh, see you next time. Bye.